Hey everybody, it's Eric from epautos.com, your libertarian car guy. And as crazy as the times are, uh, it's kind of odd to be making a video about a new car, rather a new truck, but let's try and take our minds off Corona fever and talk about some of the good stuff that's still going on. This is the 2020 Toyota Tundra, which is still largely the same as the, if you can believe it, I think it goes back to 2007 Tundra. It's been incrementally improved, but it hasn't been improved in the ways that those of you who follow uh, my rantings uh, will know uh, I don't consider to be a good thing. Uh, and what I mean by that is that this thing still has a pretty rugged, simple, basic, uh, V8 engine that's fuel injected but not direct injected. It has a six speed transmission, not a nine or ten speed transmission. Does not have a multiple turbocharged V6 or let alone a four cylinder engine. So this truck is one of the stragglers. It's one of what are, in my opinion, the apotheosis of vehicle design vehicles that have all of the things that have made vehicles made recently so phenomenal, uh, almost uh, lifetime vehicles. They'll go 20 years with any kind of decent care, uh, 200,000 plus miles, uh, start up every single day no matter what the weather is, uh, never really give you any problems. And uh, in this case, you got this big honking four-wheel drive truck uh, that's as easy and as comfortable and as pleasant to drive, in many ways more pleasant to drive because it's a nice big honking throbby V8 truck than something like uh, a Camry. Uh, it's really amazing. Um, unfortunately, so many vehicles have been messed up with uh, all this over-the-top technology, which pre-corona was being foisted on us for this almost demented obsession with gas mileage. Of course, now gas is a buck fifty or a buck sixty a gallon, so who cares? And actually, if you look at the stats, you'll find that despite uh, all the knocks that the raised pinky clover-fied car press directs at the Tundra for being a gas pig, uh, its miles per gallon are not that far off the pace of the latest greatest with the turbocharged V6s and the 9 and 10 speed transmissions, generally speaking about a difference of 5 miles per gallon. And that wasn't a big difference pre-corona. It's an irrelevant difference when gas is a buck fifty or so a gallon. And long term, personally, me, I'd far rather have uh, something like this with a rugged, proven, relatively simple port fuel injected V8 and a six-speed automatic than something with multiple turbos, direct injection, auto stop, and a nine or a ten-speed transmission. By the way, too, this also is free of a lot of the aggravating, annoying, uh, safety garbanzo that the worshipful Corona crowds out there, the Corona cattle, uh, the Corona maniacs may want, but people like me who are probably going to be pathologized soon for not genuflecting and falling on the ground and writhing about safety, uh, don't want. This thing doesn't even have ass, automated stop start. The engine keeps running until you shut it off. Now, the one I'm looking at has this really cool army green, which is apropos for our times, isn't it? And it's also the TRD Pro version, so it's got the cool, rugged, extra heavy duty suspension, including you can see some of the details here the off trail shocks, additional ground clearance, the knobbier tires, uh, custom TRD exhaust. Uh, just a really, really nice truck. Um, some little things, too, about these big crew cab trucks. You actually get more leg room in the back of one of these things than up in the front, and in both cases, you get tons of room. Um, you can still also get these things uh, with uh, just the extended cab configuration and the smaller doors. Um, the Tundra's main weakness relative to the others, if it even is a weakness, is that there are fewer configurations than you could get in something, say, like an F-Truck, uh, or a Chevy Silverado 150, but personally, I think the Tundra along with the Ram 1500 are the picks of the proverbial litter when it comes to a half-ton truck. Thoroughly recommend it. There's absolutely nothing that I don't like about this truck, and I would absolutely tell you if there were something I didn't like about it. Uh, it's a big honking hoss of a truck with tons of power. The throbby V8 is just a wonderful accompaniment when you go out for a drive. Well, you can still go out for a drive in clover-fied, hut-hut-hutted America. At any rate, I'm about to do exactly that, so we'll see if I get hut-hut-hutted uh, for going out for a drive and risking my safety by potentially getting infected with this coronavirus, which I think is a gigantic crock. 
Uh, but we'll see. Anyway, more over at epautos.com, the web's best libertarian gearhead site. Thanks for listening. Uh, thanks for viewing and reading and supporting the site. We'll catch up with you again soon.